The other night, I dreamt of my brother's death. Saw him fall into body bag position, blood flowing from his nose like school kill. They killed him in the morning. With his hands up, fingers spread like sun rays, grasping the torch of Mother Liberty. Never told him they'd soaked it in gasoline, rang bells when the flames stripped him of his skin. His burning was the first note sang in the Star Spangled Banner. The image of his silhouette collapsing stopped my pulse. Kept hearing my mother belting out a morning song. Her grief sounded a lot like the Pledge of Allegiance. Like Charlie horses in your chest. Like Mayflowers at his viewing. Dreamt of him in the midst of millions of black men moving together like snapper fish. Never ending planes beneath their feet. And then they pulled the trigger. Bodies began detonating, jaws were detached from cheekbones, skin blistered like boiling water, broke arms like popping string beans. Can you hear the cracking? Do you hear the cracking? They cracked his skin until his black scabbed over. Brains splattered into crimson fireworks across skylines. The 4th of July is here. The 4th of July showed up and left bullet shells on our doorstep. Watch grass turn into a sea of tar. Their blood rose like oil. They wore red wounds like flag stripes, striped them white like they never existed. Then I painted my face blue, and my brother died with his eyes open, stargazing. He was dreaming of freedom. I dream of my brother's tombstone more than his wedding date. More than my nephew who wears his face, I dream of his visual. Candles around his portrait, strange fruit rotting in a grave. Watch my family box him into casket and spread his arms like bird wings. I dream of writing poetry about how much I miss him. How he had enough imagination to transcend bigotry. I dream of him in past tense. How prejudice caught him by the throat and wouldn't stop choking. I don't sleep on my back now. Every time I wake up, I have no tongue, nails gashing my eyelids, and the urge to write my brother a message of caution. Leave a trail, but don't let your footprints press too deep. They'll accuse you of being destruction. Don't be afraid of your blackness. Be afraid of the declarations that weren't intended for you. Always stand in the open. Let the morning pulse on your skin so even if they see you as threat, they'll see you as splendid. And never let them catch you alone. If they catch you alone, you'll either be a cage bird or a dead one. And dead birds don't dream of freedom. <laughs>